this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to access the file for reading. Um, we have already created a file that contains some record in them. Each record consists of the name, first name, last name, and the age, and each of them are in the individual line. So I'll, I'm going to write a, a P3 program to be able to read that information. A few ways of reading the information uh, of a file using P3. I'm going to use F open again this time. Uh, so if you remember, F open consists of two, uh, it requires two uh, parameters. Uh, the first one is the file name, and the second one is the way that you want to open the file. Uh, usually, what I do is I will create a constant that contains the file name. Uh, so I can centralize the file name in my application, so I can change the file name uh, in one place and then many places in case you want to use that. So here uh, the file name is test.txt. So for the first parameter of F open, I'll pass the file name uh, using the constant again. And here for the mode, I would want I, would, I want to open this file for reading. You know that F open returns a reference to where the file is. So I'll go ahead and create a value to hold that reference for me. Of course, I will validate if the file is open or not because if the file is not open, there is nothing to read. So I will stop the program. Cannot open the file. Right. So everything goes well. Uh, I, I'm ready to read. Now, there are a few ways of reading the information of the uh, uh, of the uh, uh, this file, the one that I open. Uh, one of them uh, is F read. Remember, when we wanted to write to the file. We use F write. Here, we use F read. So I'll pass the file handler in this case is dollar sign file, and I have to say how many characters I want to read, how many bytes I want to read. Better to say, uh, I'm going to save this one to a variable called line. It's not a line. I'm just creating variable to hold the value for me right now, and then I echo uh, the variable value. Right. Uh, so as you can see, uh, I'm just reading one variable right now. Right. So I go ahead and uh, refresh my browser. Right, here you go. So as you can see, there is only one character here. I go ahead and add 10. So it will read 10 bytes. In this case, it will read uh, more characters. If I just want to read John, which is four characters, I just put four, save the file, and refresh this. Hit up, right? Now, in order to read the entire file, uh, what I have to read is, uh, I have to know the number of bytes that is, is, is that file. Uh, there is a built-in function, it's called file size, that allows you to actually uh, get the number of bytes in the file. So again, I'll use uh, the file size with the file name. So if I just go ahead and echo this, I'm going to die here. Uh, just stop the program from execution so you can see the file size. Uh, I'll go ahead and refresh this. Uh, so the number of uh, characters that I have in that file is 102 characters. Now if I want to read the entire file, I just have to simply go and use file size file name instead of marking variable uh, value for it. Right? So in this case, uh, if I just go ahead and refresh my browser, you can see all the contents are coming back. Uh, there is a function that is called uh, new line to br. Uh, which converts the new line uh, uh, to a BR tag. So in HTML format, uh, BR is the new line. So I can see each of these information into a separate line. Yeah, right. So uh, this, this is one way of reading the file. Uh, there's some other ways I'm going to show you in a second. One thing you have to remember is whenever you start reading the file, the cursor in the file moves toward the end of the file. So at this, uh, at this point, uh, uh, the cursor is at the end of the file, so there's no way to read the file again. So I cannot just go ahead and, and add the read, uh, that read right after this line. If for any reason I want to read the file again, I can use a built in function called rewind, uh, which you simply pass the file handler and puts the cursor at the beginning of the file, right? So in that case, again, as if this uh, new file that I'm opening or a file that I'm opening it for first time, not new file. Uh, I can start reading. So another way of reading this is, is to do this. Uh, let's just go ahead and create a variable. And there is another function. If you remember, we had f uh, puts s uh, to put the file. And guess what? If you want to read the line, uh, I can use f get s. I'll pass the file handle in this case. And uh, simply, uh, that's all I need. I, I can pass the length as well. I can say read 10 characters, 100 characters, and so on. But this function, uh, uh, will fail at uh, backslash in or new line. So whenever it gets 
with the United spouse or the number of character, whichever comes first, right? Uh, so uh, at this case, it will run uh, one line at a time. So if I go ahead and do uh, echo line, uh, I'm just going to put a echo and a chart tag here uh, to just separate the output horizontal ruler, right? So if I do this and uh, go back to the browser here and refresh this, you can simply see the very press line is here. I can keep reading this as long as uh, the content in there every single time uh, this moves uh, this moves to the other line. So it's just a concatenate to this. Uh, so as, as you can see, as uh, so let's get writing, right? Now, since I want to read the whole line and do something with it, I can simply use a while loop, right? Uh, so I can go and use the while loop. For the while loop, I have to now, uh, I have to stop the loop whenever I get to the end of the file. There is a function called end of the file, f end of the file, which again, this is the file handler. And I can say why it is not end of the file. Uh, simply read this information for me. So I can go ahead do this and simply every single time that this loop runs, it will go to the top, it checks if it's not end of the file, moves the cursor to the next line, break the line, and it goes back until it gets to the end of the line. So let me go ahead and refresh this now. Uh, so I have a syntax error, yes, we have an extra uh, curly bracket here, so I'm just gonna remove that refresh my page and you go. these are the content that I have. Of course, uh, I can go ahead and add a PR here so I can separate it myself. Remember, I'm reading one line at a time now. I'm not reading the whole thing, right? So I read one line at a time. Uh, so this is one way. Uh, let's go ahead and, and create another one. Uh, so definitely in order to use the same script to read the content, I can simply rewind. Remember, rewind is whenever you want to read the file again from the beginning. So it puts the cursor at the beginning of the file. Uh, uh, if, I, if I want to read, uh, another way of reading this is reading character by character. Uh, so I can go ahead and use again while loop. Uh, while is not end of the file. Not pass the file handler. So if it's not end of the file, uh, it's almost the same as f get s, but get that f get s reads the line, and I can simply go ahead and read the character with f get c for character, right? Uh, I pass the file in, and then I will just go ahead and echo ch. So if I go ahead and refresh this page on the third level of this page, right after this, you can see all these characters are written. If I want to show this in a more obvious way, I can just put a VR between each character. So simply when I run this, you can see one character at a time is uh, right from the file and going to the script. Well, I will show you one more way of reading the file as well. This time I'm not going to do rewind. I just simply go ahead and create the uh, horizontal ruler. There is, uh, there is a, a function that is called uh, file get content that it doesn't really need a uh, handler anymore. I just need to pass the file name, right? Uh, so if I go ahead and echo the result of this and go back to my browser and refresh the page, if I go all the way down here, you can see all the contents are here. Of course, uh, all the, the, uh, all the uh, new line is there too. I could actually call new line to VR on the output here as well. I'm not going to do that to confuse you. Uh, so that's one, another way of reading it. And uh, let me show you another one. Uh, the other one is called uh, file. And I can simply pass the uh, file. Okay. In this case, if I just go ahead and work on this, I'll tell you in a second why I do work on uh, and refresh this. If I go back here, as you can see, the file will return an array, right? Uh, so if I want to print this, certainly I either have to go through the loop to print this, or I can join all this information as well. So uh, I can go here and specify lines equal five, and uh, simply I can go ahead and say for each. Print. Of course, I'll go print that. 
freshness. Uh, this is the output that you get. Let me let me just put an HR here so you can see the graph better. So we go do this. So you can see the whole content here. The uh, read file returns the number of bytes as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Talk to you soon. Have a good day. Bye bye.